All right, so we're here at PAX East, and that's Heart Machine. <laughs> we've, we've, half of Heart Machine, yeah. But we've got, we have Teddy and Bo, both working on, we've got Hyperlight Drifter. I mean, look at this art around here. This is a, it's a fantastic booth, and it's hopping, too. You guys have a giant crowd here. It's, it's pretty awesome. How do you feel about that? A lot of new friends. It's cool, man. Yeah, it feels good. It's, it's been great. A lot of great energy around here. It's been really inspiring. Pretty overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. But in a good way. Yeah. So Hyperlight Drifter, obviously very successful Kickstarter. Uh, you guys have been hard at work at this, I noticed. Less updates because you're putting your heads down, you're working on this project. All right. So what do we have new today at PAX East? What are you showing everybody? Well, well we have a co-op battle room over there to show up the co-op mode of course and then this is a uh, part of the single player campaign uh, which is also co-op but not here but <laughs> yeah that's pretty much yeah that's it yeah well so Hyperlight Drifter, you guys obviously are trying to go for a very a very serious, uh, artsy look, of course. It has a compelling narrative. Uh, that's part of your goal. Maybe talk a little bit about the story in general. Uh, where are you at right now with it? Oh, with the story? Yeah. Oh, well, there is a narrative that's like being developed and is, is there, but, you know, we're not trying yeah, to show explicitly that. and we... Yeah, we're not really talking about it yet because there's a lot of like secrets and important things that we, you know, we want like a big reveal only to be like in the game. Like we yeah. don't, we don't want you to know before you see it in the game. But and, that, and that's exactly what I wanted you to say because these games, secrets are the most compelling things out there. People don't know exploration anymore. I mean, there's there's endless games, there's roguelikes, but having the ability to explore games, to actually invest in a narrative, in a hero, people that you believe in, uh, that's what I think uh, people want in games, like from you guys, people who are, who are really just invested in this, like I had already said. So, let's talk a little bit about some of the gameplay. Uh, you guys, it, it seems like, you flourish with everything. The Hyperlight Drifter, the moves, the way that you the way that you just go through each level. It seems it's old school, but yet it's mixed with new mechanics. Why did you guys decide to go with this kind of maybe secret amana type approach instead of trying something maybe a little different? Well, I mean Go ahead. You're the you're combat we, master. We all have a, a love of like old school games and you know I've been studying old school games a lot. I don't they're always my favorite because I like simple yeah, we all like simple stuff. Things don't need to be overly complicated. And then, you know, but there's a lot of modern sensibilities that you should be applying to these things because you go back and play old school games in Castlevania, like during my childhood or whatever, so like, you know, a, a half a year ago I played it and I was like, this is amazing, I love this game, so it was like brand new to me, but then it's like you die, you go back to the beginning and it's like, oh, I, I'm going to use save states, like, you know, at, at least at least make my own checkpoints because, I, you know, I don't have enough time for this, no. but, uh, yeah, and definitely with uh, Alex's art, like, you know, people are like, oh, it's 8-bit, and it's like, no, no, it's, it's like, maybe inspired by that, but it's like, it's pixel art, of course, but this couldn't run on like an old system. It's so a it's lot like of bits. There's a lot of things where it's like it's we're looking at nostalgia and you know, of course we have like many inspirations, but trying to do a new take and trying to, you know, uh, uh, improve upon like what old games well what, what it seems tiresome in old games like Yeah, it's like there's a lot know. of I mean when you say like trying something different, it's like well we have inspired by stuff, but there's some staples that are great, you know, like right. movement is good and having like an evasion room. Yeah. yeah. And, and a melee and some some distance weapons, you know, like I think when you're doing design it's like there's there's gimmicks and then there's like the rest of the design and it's not really a gimmicky game. So every decision we make is gonna be different to Hyperlight, you know? Like, it's about having that perfect balance. So yeah. yeah. I hope so. No, everything we do will be <laughs> brand new to everybody. Yeah. No. Alright. So I think it's still early on, right? Where are you guys actually at in the project itself? Uh, we let's see. The beginning. For a long time. <laughs> yeah. Early. Uh, yeah. It yeah. looks like this and this, so it's coming along. Yeah, yeah. Like we're we're getting a better grip on like the core mechanics and stuff. Very, very little content in the game. Even though there's like a good amount to like show people when they first see it and yeah. stuff, but there's there's a lot to go because we want it, you know, to be 
you know, worth exploring, of course. Yeah, it's a world to explore, so we need to build the world. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we've done a lot of the, the uh, like Alex and Casey, and we've talked a lot about the story and the world design, but building like a pipeline and actually making all that content, right. there's a lot of stuff to do. And I'm glad that you brought up uh, Castlevania as well. The difficulty's a big thing in these games. How difficult do you think Hyperlight Drifter is going to be? It's, it's going to be hard. <laughs> hard, well, you know, we're trying to find that balance where it's like hard, but you don't go like, like oh, I hate this game. You go like, oh, uh, this is what I should have done. Hard instead. but fair. Like, hard but fair is, is ideal, yeah. you know. So that's what we're working towards. And I think it's ideal. All right, well. So what platforms are we releasing on? Steam, obviously, right? Most. Yeah, yeah. we'll do Steam first. That's what Most we're focusing platforms. on. Uh, so PC, Mac, Linux is just we're developing on PCs. So it makes sense to do the thing that requires the least like porting work. And then we'll do all the consoles we're doing: yeah. PS4, Vita, Xbox, Xbox One, Wii U, Ouya. I know, I know a lot of people really want the the mobile devices now, like the yeah the Vita and the 3DS and such. I think this game would. Be amazing on the 3DS. It would be. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean we're Vita's definitely gonna be on the Vita, and that's awesome. 3DS, 3DS if, is tough. If it works for the design, yeah. then yeah. and if you know, we'd have to redesign worth, something because yeah. you can't make a two-screen 3DS game and then just like not have a second screen. We can't just like put the right. logo. We logo, can put like a logo. dancing. Adver oh, advertisements and in-app purchases. There we, there go. we go. Okay. That's how we will the be 3D, the killer. The 3DS app version the is 3DS. free to play. Yeah. Free to play, ad supported. <laughs> All right, you guys. So Hyperlight Drifter is still early on. Uh, we've got a lot of, it just looks great. I, I'm just gonna say it like that. But we do have a very serious question to ask you. During crunch time, what's your guys' go-to food? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's true, if it's really bad. Uh, There's a taco yeah. place across the street from Glitch City, which is where we work. So we eat a uh, lot of tacos. Good old pinches. Yeah. Pinches tacos. If you're ever in Shout Culver City. Out to Shout out to Pinches. No, call out to the tacos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like to eat my own uh, stomach lining, or, or at least that's what is dissolved when uh, I don't eat. Yeah. yeah water you're in the middle of. Coffee. You're like I just, I should come. I just have to fix this, and then I can go eat. That'll be my reward. It's a terrible way to work. So yeah. <laughs> we should work on that. Yeah, we should work okay. on that. <laughs> All right, guys. Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, really looking forward to it. <laughs> eat poorly, make uh, video games. Yeah. No. Eat well, eat almonds, exercise. Yeah. We have a lot of good work ahead of us, and it, it'll be fun. And this our like habits a, will only improve. It's like the end of G.I. Joe, where they, yeah. they give you a message at the end. Oh, yeah. And, o and only here, talking <laughs> about Hyperlight Drifter, are we going to bring up the ending to G.I. Joe. So there it is. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, really looking forward to the game overall. Uh, Bo and Teddy, you guys are awesome. Thanks, that was a pleasure.